Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be taking a look at the structure and function of the sensory relay and motor neurons and also what myelination is. So just to remind you, a stimulus is detected by a receptor. This sends a nerve impulse along the receptor the sensory neuron, uh, which then transfers it into a relay neuron, which is then sent along the motor neuron, which is linked to an effector. And the effector is normally a muscle or a gland that brings about the change. So the first neuron we're going to look at is a sensory neuron. This is connected to the receptors, in this case, skin receptors. The nerve impulse is then taken along a dendron. The dendron is a part of the neuron which links the receptors to the cell body. The cell body here is in the middle of my sensory neuron. I then have a short axon. The axon is the part of the nerve which is taking the impulse away from the cell body and it's taken to the end which is where the dendrites are. So anything in a red box here is taken directly from the MART scheme. The thing that we need to know here is that the central nervous system which is the CNS central nervous system is where the end of the sensory neuron so this part here um, is, is found. Okay next one we need to know about is the relay neuron. So the relay neuron connects my sensory to my motor neuron. Now this one has never actually been on an exam yet, um, but we can tell from the images it has a very short axon. We have dendrites present and this whole neuron is found within the central nervous system. So that means the cell body is also found within the central nervous system. So the cell body, um, as it is a cell, this is where the nucleus will be found and any other components within inside, within inside the nucleus, such as the nucleolus. The last neuron we need to be aware of is the motor neuron. This one doesn't have any dendrons present. It only has an axon present. Don't forget the axon is a part of the neuron which takes the nerve impulse away from the cell body. In the motor neuron, the cell body is found within the central nervous system. And then the impulse is taken along the axon away, um, away from the cell body to the motor end plates, which are connected to the effector. In this case, that is the muscle. Okay, it might help if you draw some kind of Venn diagram just to help you summarise in your head the differences between each of these and also the similarities. So it might be worthwhile just practising that in your own time. It's a nice bit of revision. So we've looked at the structure and function of these different types of neurons. We now need to look at the myelination and what myelination is. So myelination, as you can see here, this is where a Schwann cell is wrapped around the axon. Um, and because it is a Schwann cell, because it is a cell, you'll find a nucleus, you might find other cell components within there as well. But the whole idea here is it acts as an insulating barrier and therefore speeds up the rate of transduction of that nerve impulse. So if I have a myelinated axon, here I have the Schwann cell wrapped around my axon, creating those insulating layers. Whereas if I have a non-myelinated axon, I still have a Schwann cell. However, I have several axons passing through, several nerves passing through the one Schwann cell. It does not have the several layers of insulating um, Schwann cell there wrapped around it. It just has one nerve or several nerves going through the one cell. It doesn't have that several buildup of layers creating that insulating barrier. So this results in something known as sol solitary conduction. Now solitary conduction, this is where I have what's known as these nodes of Ranvia that are, co are created between the different Schwann cells that are wrapped around my nerve. Now because the Schwann cell creates this insulating barrier, it means that the nerve impulse cannot be trans transduced or, tran or conducted in this particular area. So therefore, my nerve impulse can only be conducted at my nodes of Ranvia. Now, it's really important here, we don't say the word that the impulse is jumping. We, they don't like that in the exam. But what they do like is that they'd like you to talk about the membrane can only be depolarized here at the nodes of Ranvia. So as you can see here, that it can only be depolarized, the membrane can only be depolarized at the nodes of Ranvia. It also creates a longer localized circuit. So basically what that means here is it's not, the nerve impulse is not going all the way along in these short circuits. It's going in a long circuit all the way around, all the way around that Schwann cell. Uh, and this increases the rate of impulse transmission by about 100 times more. So guys, in your exam, please don't forget to use that scientific terminology which gets you the most marks as possible. And don't forget, do not use, use the words it, they, amount, and size. Use good scientific terminology. It's going to get you as many marks as possible. And good luck with your exams.